Hello, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Google's new grouping and kind of sort of breakout room feature in Google Meet. I'm making this video in September of 2020, so they are, Google's constantly working on upgrading Meet, so I wouldn't be surprised if you're watching this in the future. Some buttons and things that I'm describing could change, but nonetheless, here we go. Before using the uh, breakout room and grouping function, you do need to have the grid view installed, the grid view extension installed, which I demonstrated in an earlier video. I also demonstrate how to use the attendance feature. So actually seeing who's in your meet and using that to keep track of your class attendance in another video. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our attendance window. And if you want, you can hide the attendance and we're gonna open up the group generator. Now you can use this for really two different purposes. You could use this just to generate a bunch of Google Meets very quickly, like Google Meet links, little mini Google Meet rooms that you can share with your students and they can go into those rooms. Or you can also use it to actually assign random groups. Now, some teachers really love doing random groups. Some teachers like to pre-plan your groups. You can kind of do both. So I'm going to demonstrate how to make a bunch of groups first. Then we'll talk about the random uh, group generator. So. To generate rooms or separate meets, uh, what you want to do is you want to hit number of groups and then choose how many groups you want to create or how many meets you want to create. Then go ahead and choose, again, that number. So I'm going to say I want six and I'm going to hit generate groups. What that's going to do is it's going to put all of my students that are present into however many rooms I chose. Now, this is a random grouping. So I went ahead and it created these random groups for me here. And I can share those groups with my students by hitting copy groups and pasting that into the chat. So I could say, hey students, here's your groups across the six rooms. Or if you had pre-planned groups, you would just share that with your students. You would say, okay, you're in this group, you're in this group, maybe by sharing your screen or just pasting into the chat. And then you could hit copy meet links and paste those into the chat. So you can say, all right, students, you know your groups, here are your meets. And they could go into all of these separate Google Meets. You as the teacher can click on all of these and open them up into separate tabs or separate windows so that way you're in every meet, you can see what's going on, you can talk to the students by just unmuting yourself and muting yourself into the different rooms. You, uh, in Google Meet as the teacher, cannot push a student in. So unlike Zoom, you can't say, you can't click a button and say, okay, start rooms and push all the students in. They have to actually click on this link and go to their new room. You also can't pull the students back in. So when it's over, you can't push a button and say, okay, end all the breakout rooms and bring the students back in. They have to, again, come back to your main room. Uh, if you want to mute individual rooms, if you actually are in Google Chrome, you can actually right click the tab and you can actually mute an individual tab. So you can individually mute each room if you only want to hear one at a time or et cetera. And another cool way to make rooms or groups is by instead of saying how many groups you want, you can also say how many users in each group. So if I said, all right, I want to just do three users in every group, it's going to go ahead and figure out, all right, based on the number of students I have here, uh, this is how many rooms you need. It is including myself in a room because in my attendance, I included myself in my attendance. You can also use your comparison list to make groups rather than who's currently here. So the comparison list is your class roster. So in my last video, I added three more students, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, and Tim Cook. They're not here. We can see that they're absent. But if I hit use comparison list and then I hit generate groups, well, it just threw Steve, Bill, and Tim into a room. So now I need three rooms. And again, I could hit copy groups. If I want to share these randomly made groups with my students, I could then hit copy meet links. If I then wanted to share these three meet links with my students. There is a button to reset the link. So if you want to make a new set of rooms, you can hit reset links and there you go. In my next video, I'm going to talk about how to use a breakout room extension, which is another way to make breakout rooms. And it's similar to this in creating random groups, but it does give you a lot more control over your rooms. It is more complicated. So this is the simpler and easier way to make quick groups, quick breakout rooms in Google Meet. But if you're interested in some more control, check out my next video.